Hello everyone, Brooklyn's in the house, bringing you guys another subscriber loadout. This one's coming from Matthew. He wanted me to use the Ace 52 CQB with a muzzle brake, stubby grip, and cobra sight. Unfortunately, I could not unlock enough battle packs within this week to get the cobra sight, so I stuck to the closest thing I can get, which was the coyote. Also, in the further clips, I will be playing with a subscriber of mine, Scarecrow, aka Sir Waffles. We were tearing it up. Now, the maximum damage of this weapon is 33 with a minimum of 18. By the way, I get my statistics from Simthix.com. I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys who like to look at weapon stats and compare to other weapons. Now, the reload of this weapon when it still has a bullet left in the chamber is 2.3 compared to when it's empty of a 3.4. The upward kicks of this gun is 0.56, which is very great in my opinion. The first shot recoil is almost 2.0 but it stands at 1.95 now compared to its little brother the ace 21 the ace 21 has a 24 max damage with 15.4 minimum but it has a greater first shot recoil of 2.25 the only benefits the ace 21 has over its bigger brother is a faster fire rate of 770 with a bigger magazine of 33 rounds and 36 percent less upward kick in my opinion if i had to pick which gun I would prefer over the other, I would pick the Ace 52 CQB. Simple because it has a higher damage rate and a less first shot recoil and with the muzzle brake reducing the the recoil the upward recoil by 10%, I will take the Ace 52 any day. So now, the Compact 45 is the weapon given to me specifically by Matthew to use in this loadout is my favorite semi-auto pistol besides the m9 i really do enjoy using that pistol because it has a damage damage model significantly higher than the rest and it really doesn't need as many bullets in the chamber as like let's say the m9 which needs 16 as opposed to 11 coming from the compact 45 so now this weapon really requires significant aim towards the midsection or the upper chest area to actually get a headshot for the recoil compensation of this weapon. Uh, sometimes you get a lucky headshot when you're hip firing, that's because the bullet spread is a little bit more unpredictable than when you're aiming down sight. But in this clip here, as you see, my reflex is turned Super Saiyan, and I just turn the heat up really quick, taking on multiple opponents with a few headshots here and there, because let's face it, in close encounter combat, this weapon excels very highly. Also, mid-range engagements really do benefit from the muzzle brake because you really don't have that that upper recoil. So if you can if you can control your recoil by aiming lower down towards the belly area on mid-range opponents, then you will be able to to keep your reticle firmly upon you upon your opponent. Now, I also want to tell you guys that I'm taking in questions from all my subscribers and I really want you guys to ask me questions that that you guys are curious about me and that you would like to know because I'm going to be making a questions and answer video when I get a little bit more closer to 250, maybe even closer than that. So I want you guys who are curious about me, who want to know more about me, I will also be continuing the Get to Know Me series. So I will probably mix in the questions and answers with one of those episodes. So feel free to ask me whatever you guys like if it's appropriate, then I will definitely shout you guys out and feature you guys in the video coming with the questions and answers. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up share this video and if you haven't yet join the tactics family subscribe thank you all for watching this is Brooklyn signing out Fuck yeah!